As a user, you have lots of options for customizing the settings on your Avaya Cloud Office account. Just click on the gear icon and you're ready to go. You'll see all your options for the many notifications and sounds that alert you to incoming communications, whether you prefer the light interface or the dark one, how you want your messages displayed, the settings you want to use for video meetings, settings for your phone calls, the email and other accounts you want to connect to for your calendar and contacts, and also keyboard shortcuts you might find helpful. A lot of the settings are changed right in the app, but in some cases, you'll be redirected to the administrative portal for your organization, located in the cloud. Either way, administering your account is pretty easy. For example, let's quickly look at how to adjust the settings for two great features you might want to use, call screening and blocking. When you use call screening, it requires callers to first announce their names before the call gets connected to you. It's a great way to screen out unwanted calls. Call blocking is even tougher. It lets you choose specific phone numbers and fax numbers that you'd like to block and prevent from calling or faxing your number. To set up these features, click on the gear icon, then the phone icon, and then extension settings. That will take you into your cloud account. There, select screening, greeting, and hold music. Now you'll see your options for enabling call screening and call blocking. One other setting you probably want to be sure to take care of is connecting Avaya Cloud Office to your email calendar. Just click on the gear and then Contacts and Calendars. Now you can choose either Outlook or Google. When you need to put a meeting on those calendars and email a meeting invite, Avaya Cloud Office makes the connection seamlessly. On this screen, you can also set where you import contacts from and how your presence is managed based on what's on your calendar.